G'day guys. Tasha's uh, she's a little bit warm around here, a little bit too warm for a kennel full of sled dogs. Um, hot topic at the moment, it's uh, it's hit uh, just 44 degrees here at home. Hi hey, little girl. And uh, 44 degrees, so it's it's quite quite warm, especially for our uh, Arctic breed dogs that we got here. Um, and, and one of the most common questions that comes across with us in summer all the time is, is how do you keep them guys cool? They're made for the Arctic. Uh, we currently got 72 dogs on our property here, uh, most of which are Arctic breeds and of course, as you all know, sled dogs. So these guys are very happy in winter and uh, we've got to do everything we can in summer. And um, like our kennel facilities at the moment for days like this, we, we love it. It's, uh, the dogs are just cruising along, so happy. Um, they've obviously got their cabins here and we get around here, I'll try and find where these guys are. Here we go. Hi Heath. So across our cabins on uh, on most of the yards, we'll find lots of little holes that have been dug down underneath there. You see the uh, the sun comes down from the top all the way through this timber cabin. So where's the coolest part going to be? Underneath here for sure. So they get down in there, dig their holes in the uh, cool ground, make sure they stay nice and cool. But on top of that, we've all got uh, some swimming pools in every pen. As you see up our yards, you can see all the blue pools that go up and down here. All the way down, you can see blue pools for miles. They've all got a shell pool in every yard. Uh, they can dip their feet, stay nice and cool. Up here, going across the top of every yard, we've actually got our, uh, our mist system. So they don't put a whole heap of water out. It's just a constant mist that goes on. So it, uh, it cools the air temperature. Um, I tell you, this is the best place on the property at the moment to be hanging out in under all this water in the yards. And what we do is we come out here every couple of hours and put nice, fresh, cool water down in there. Uh, bowls here we also use porcelain so they don't heat up as quick as the tin uh tin does with the tin buckets and stuff so they clean up nice and easy too but yeah we come and replace that water every couple of hours so it's nice and cold in here they got their pools to jump in and get nice and dirty but cool themselves down we've got our mist system and then days like today where it gets extreme with the heat we set ourselves up some uh sprinklers up and down the line there so we've got the rotating sprinklers going over the yards that we move up and down they got their mist systems and they can get into some nice, cool, fresh water. Can't we avalanche, hey? So that's how uh, we manage to keep these guys extremely happy on these nice, cool days. Well, older dogs, we've got some dogs that are 14, 15 years old. They're currently with an air cooler inside our house on the nice, cool slate tiles. Uh, but all these guys out here are still cruising around pretty happy, lying down in the shade with nice uh, wet and moist ground around here and the water's just bringing the air temperature down. So I'm gonna go kick back on one of these decks with the dogs and uh, hope you're all taking care in the heat out there and anyone around the bushfires and hope you're keeping your uh, pets nice and cool too. Take care guys.